search for a woman accused of running over a romantic rival, then driving off. The women were apparently arguing over a man. Both of them are pregnant, and both say he's the father. Now one woman is in the hospital, the other on the run. Our Tiffany Craig is live in the medical center with the new details. Tiff? Yeah, we're told that baby is expected to be okay, but the woman carrying that child, not so much. She is in the hospital behind me after getting a leg amputated. Excuse me, a foot amputated. It's sad. Betty Polk is still shaking her head after well, seeing the aftermath of a fight between two pregnant women. Oh, I'm getting sick here. Now. It all started when Sherelle Hunter showed up at Chris Cheney's house. That's her ex-boyfriend. And his new girlfriend, Elise Kelly, was there. They just don't like each other. I don't know if it's because of me or what. But Chances are it is. You think it's because of you getting them pregnant? I mean, I am handsome. <laughs> Cheney is most likely the father of both women's unborn babies. I mean, they basically want to fight each other, and one didn't, didn't really want to fight because they both was pregnant, and she backed up and drove into my house. Police say Hunter used her ex-boyfriend's car that looks like this to ram into Kelly, pinning her up against the house, breaking at least one of her legs, and forcing doctors to amputate one of her feet. What I see, uh, two baby mamas going into it, one hit the other one and drove into the wall. All right, a lot of people saw what happened. Betty Polk can't get it out of her head. Right now, we just have to pray that her and everybody else that's involved is be all right. So tonight, Hunter is still on the loose, and Houston police are asking anyone with information about her to give them a call. As for Cheney, in the next few months, he will have six different children by four different women. We're live at the Texas Medical Center. Tiffany Craig, KHOU, 11 News.